Hi everyone. So today I have an unboxing. This is a, the mystery box from a little craft place that's over in Texas. Um, I purchased it last week. Actually, no, I'm sorry, this past Saturday and it took four days, I guess you could say, to get to me. It was delayed probably because of, you know, they're still trying to catch up on the Christmas uh, mail. So let's go ahead and pop this open. This box was really heavy, okay? So they really stuffed it. Um, you get a lot of different things in this mystery box. I'll include the link to the shop so you can um, see the other past unboxings that they've got, or rather they've got videos where they show what goes in the box. And it's just, like I said, it's a, it's a variety of things that they have at their shop, okay? So now I opted to get the one with the either Hobonichi Weeks or the um, Edit um, Weekly Planner. So let's see which one I got, okay? All right, so it looks like I got the, I think I got the Edit Planner. It's a B6, yeah, weekly. So this is their card, okay? There you go. And yeah, oh, I love mermaids. So I'm pretty happy to get this. It's an older, um, it's a 2019 uh, planner, but that's okay because you know, you can always um, just cover over the dates and reuse it. So this potentially, I mean, I could use this next year. I have my A5 Hobonichi, you know, for this year. So I'm probably going to just save this. So it came with some stickers, okay. Um, but it's really pretty. Look at that. I wonder what this is. Well, can't. It's probably just, oh, I think maybe more stickers. Oh, wow. It's a little mermaid patch. How pretty. That's really nice. I've never, um, used this brand before, so really curious. I mean, I was kind of hoping to get a Hobonichi Weeks, but that's okay. Like I said, um, it's still nice. The paper on this is super smooth. Very, very smooth. Okay, so this is the monthly, and then here we go, the the weekly. I mean, it's, it's a nice hardbound, you know, weekly planner. So, so we got that. I will put that aside. Let's see what else we got here. Let's start with the washi. Okay, so this is by Amy Tangerine. And I don't think I've ever seen this one. I don't know what line it comes from. Yeah, I'm not sure what line. Shine Bright, that's what it says on there. So it could be from that line. Okay, put that aside. Wow, oh wow. <laughs> so this is from Frank Garcia. These are memory hardware pearls um pearls five i guess and it's called gilded and look at this beautiful and it's pretty heavy too okay i've got a pencil here with a, a llama which i'll probably give to one of my nieces um i've got a prima traveler's journal a uh, charm and uh, that's like with the uh, charm that you can hang on the side and then a clip. Really pretty. I have here a stamp. Afternoon tea. So let me bring this up. This is the stamp right there. I love this. Very nice. Okay. Let's move this a little bit to the side here so I'll have some room. Excited to get this. It's um, a roll of tickets, vintage tickets. And it's by, it just says, Original Masking Tape, Scotland. So these are vintage bus tickets or replicas from uh, Scotland, from a bus line in Scotland. Okay, so we got some stickers here. Sweet Shop. And yeah. Okay, 
What else we got? Some tags. I can use these for from Kaiser Craft. I'll use it for some gifts. Got a coloring postcard book here, Free Spirit by Kaiser uh, Kaiser Craft. My nieces love this type of stuff because I bought I bought them a bunch of like coloring books like this. So um, I might give this to them to color. Okay, let's pull some from here on the side. These are Prima Travel uh, Traveler's Journals. They're mini binder clips. Very pretty. Um, I've got rose gold and black. I could always use more clips. More from the um, from the Prima company. This is another um, Traveler's Notebook charm. This is uh, from my Prima Planner, Flower Embellishments. Now Prima is a really good brand. I love their paper and uh, you know the whole vintage floral look. So these are Prima flowers and this is the rose from the Rose Quartz collection. Very very nice. Okay. I've got here some um, decorative tape or rather washi from Prima. It all matches the flowers and some of the other stuff that I got. Really really like that. Okay. I have some brads. These look like they're little tiny um, binder clips. Let me get up much closer so you can see. There we go. Okay. Some washi here. I got a little messed up, but that's okay. It's a pig and a cat. Okay. Very, very thin washi. Let's see. Since the box is already... Oh, no, 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 it's not washi. I'm sorry, they're sticker flakes. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it could have been washi, so that's okay if the box is messed up because the flakes are still good. I'll try to get these out. Well, I was able to pull out. So it looks like this. Little tiny flakes. So this is what, it, what they look like on the inside. Okay. I'm excited to get this. My friend Clarissa knows that I want, I've been wanting to get this washi. I actually have um, a couple of the Prima rolls like this in my sh my cart on Amazon, um, save for later, in other words. And I'm so happy to get this because it's just, it's gorgeous. Okay. So I got some um, metal embellishments by Prima. This is from the Finnabar collection. Really good collection too. Good for um, mixed media and junk journals. Looks like I got another um, box of flakes. This is Retro Collect Record, but it's kind of hard to read what it says around it. Gladius. Uh, this must be in Latin, and I don't. I'm not really good at Latin, so it's obvious. It's kind of ironic that we're. I said that because I was just talking to my sister online the other night and we were talking about how it's kind of pointless to take Latin in high school, why they're still promoting it. I know I'll probably get some comments as to like, no, it's really useful, but seriously, is it? Are you using it in life right now? In your adult life? Don't think so. Okay, so these are just some vintage labels, which I do like. So I'm going to stick those in my Hobonichi when I do some daily spreads. Okay. All right. What else we got here? Looks like I got a memo pad and this is from Kaiser Craft. Just a to-do list. Okay. Um, let's get this one here. This looks like it's another could be planner charms. Feather style. That's all it says. Oh no. Maybe it's a bookmark. I'm not sure. But that's interesting. I think it's a bookmark actually. Because of the chain on the back. I think that's what laps, um, overlaps on the front. And then the bottom. But then the chain looks really small. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to translate that. 
Okay. We got some more tape here, just in time for Valentine's, as if I need more Valentine's tape. This is first edition washi. Uh, I don't know what, just from the craft blog, the craft blog, excuse me. So yeah, that's cute. That would have been much cuter five years ago when I was still collecting a ton of washi. I'm now very, very specific when I buy washi. So that's why I don't accumulate more, even more. I mean, I'm actually trying to thin out my collection of just, you know, stuff like this, because I want to be much more specific as to the kind of stuff I get, like this. This is, um, it's a Alice in Wonderland theme washi, which is really, really pretty. Let me get in closer. Okay, and then there's this one right here, which is a Coffee Love, and I do like collecting stuff that's kind of coffee related. You know, yeah, so I don't buy as much washi these days. So, because like I said, I'm trying to be much more specific as to what I get so that I don't accumulate more. Okay, so we've got some masking tape from um, Ampha, which is a Japanese line. And these are really cute little animals in teacups. Let's see. I've got some Prima um, journal cards or note cards here. This is from the Salvage District collection. So let me go ahead and take the tape off of this. So I can give you a very quick flip through. Stick it on the box. Okay, so, oh, very pretty. Oh, how am I gonna do this? That doesn't look awkward. So you got So it looks like you get maybe about four of each I like the teacups Stars cannot shine without darkness. Okay. So I'm saving the, uh, the big one for last. So let's see what here I got here. I got a pen. This is, um, it just says, I love London. I do want to go to London. I haven't gone there yet. Um, so it's a nice, yeah, a little clicky pen. Oops. Okay, then I've got, of course they're all gonna be on the side that I can't really reach. Okay, so I got another pen here. Um, this one's a twisty one, ball pens, and then one of these gem pens. I know a lot of uh, planners like to use, oops, sorry, like to use these kind of pens. I, I'm, I prefer really gel pens, just, you know, from Japan, because they write smoother. Um, that's, like I said, I'm saving that one for last. I got a, oh good, this matches. The six by six from Prima of the Salvage, oh, can't even say it, Salvage District. So, same stuff, and as you can see already on the front, pretty much what it entails. Yeah, so you, I think you're getting one, two, three, it looks like six of each. 36 double-sided with one alphabet sheet, one journaling card, and one journaling spot sticker sheet. Wow. Okay, so it's a six by six collection kit. It's not just a regular um, six by six pad. That's interesting. I didn't know that Prima was doing that. All right, so let's get the box out of the way. So, move all of these. We can get them all in the shot here. Okay, so the last one here is the uh, Prima Travels, Traveler's Journal. This looks, it's personal size. I was about to say it looks personal, but I now see it says that. So this is really pretty. I like that it's like rose gold embossed. Um, I'm really big on traveler's notebooks. I don't really care if it's like, you know, the original, uh, like I have a, I have, Traveler's Journal, excuse me, Traveler's Company. Um, when it was still called Midori, I have the Pan Am uh, Standard. 
and then I have like a lot from like Webster's Pages, um, from Michael's when they first started printing them out. Um, I have some that I've made myself, laminated versions, um, you know, all kinds. I mean, I don't, I don't discriminate when it comes to travel, traveler's notebooks. All right, so here we go. Very pretty. And see, that's what I like about um, the other companies. I mean, like I said, I'm not knocking the original. I do love that. But these are like really like heavy duty. This one is actually more heavy duty than the Webster's Pages ones. And it has so many card slots. That's really interesting. I mean, you could turn it into a wallet if you wanted to. You would just need to get the insert that it would have like the pocket, the zipper pocket but it's got lots of slots here and here. Comes with, with a, I was about to say three, but it's two. Two blank inserts, you've got the craft color um, cover, and then you've got the black craft type. Um, then you've got this pocket here with the pen loop. Let's see how the paper is. Yeah, it's actually thicker than the ones that come from Webster's Pages. So it's not bad, but I like the vintage look of it. And um, of course the little cute charm does go well with, you know, the Prima cards that I got, okay? So the total for this um, box was $55. But I think, you know, you, I pretty much got a lot of stuff that's worth way more than 55 because this alone right here I think is probably about maybe 25 maybe even more I'm not sure I have to look again on um, on Amazon or on you know Prima's website and see what they're selling it for but I I do know that it's it's pretty pricey compared to like you know if you're buying like a Webster's pages you know um, type of traveler's notebook and then of course Prima's paper itself um that's pretty pricey the washi i think it's like maybe 10 to 12 dollars on amazon um that's why i hadn't i have not you know purchased it prior to this because i was like uh do i want to spend that much on washi you know right now so that was kind of an added bonus for me to or incentive for me to get this box plus you know just all of the other cute stuff that come with it I mean, it's not bad. $55. You got a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, the $55 does not include the shipping. The shipping was about $10, I believe, um, because I opted for UPS shipping. But surprisingly, they shipped it um, by, the post, by the post service. They did priority uh, flat rate. So that's why it's a day late. I mean, I probably paid maybe... 50 cents more. I'm not going to complain. I mean, at least I got my stuff. It wasn't held up somewhere. Um, Oxford, Mississippi, like my, my uh, other stuff was. So, but then again, that was during the Christmas rush. So yeah, so this is all the stuff that came in that box. Um, I kind of wish I did get more pens, I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm just thinking because my friend Clarissa, who is Karamia's Corner on YouTube. She was really hoping for more, um, more pens, but you know, that's okay. I mean, I don't really care for this, but I'll use it anyways. But yeah, the rest of the stuff, plus the um, edit, you know, notebook. I'm glad, I mean, the planner, I'm glad to see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm happy with all this. All right, so that's my haul. And I hope you guys have a good week. All right. Bye.